Hey, I'm Ollie from Preproducts. Over the last couple of years, we've helped stores process over 1 million pre-orders. Today, we're going to look into two methods of taking pre-orders in Shopify. We'll first look at native pre-orders, so not using any third-party software, just using Shopify out of the box. And then we'll look at using a third-party app. And then we'll look at the pros and cons of both of those approaches and help you decide which way to um, move forward on your store. So what are pre-orders and why do they matter for Shopify, big commerce, any kind of e-commerce store? Well, whether you're a small or a large e-commerce brand, having enough cash on hand to purchase stock, fund your next line of products or your next kind of restock, it's always important. Pre-orders are great at targeting that exact problem. So boosting your cash flow. The way pre-order generally work, I won't go into it too much details. You send a customer to a product page like normal, but you don't show them an add to cart button. You show them a pre-order button and from that point the customer can click pre-order with the understanding that they're not going to receive this product in a normal time frame it will be longer that's very flexible it could be a week it could be a month it could even be a year in some cases and then when they're charged that's also flexible so some stores prefer to charge all pre-orders straight up front just like a normal buy now great for cash flow but if it's going to be one of those long couple month delivery time frames maybe not as much of a great customer experience so that's where uh, deposit based pre-orders 100 charge later pre-orders come in so that's a pre-order and um yeah of course when your stock comes in when you trigger any charges and fulfill that uh, product and those orders but the whole thing about that is you're taking that money or at least at the very least that order up front way before your stock arrives so it gives you this kind of lever to play with when it comes to cash and also forecasting let's go into comparing the native versus app-based approach and we're going to stick to shopify for this video let's start with native so native just means you're only using Shopify and the existing features or pre-order support that Shopify offers. So you will have a limited amount of flexibility in terms of communication, charging, automations, that kind of thing. But let's dive into Shopify and I'll show you how to set pre-orders up without using any app whatsoever. Okay, so we're in Shopify, the Shopify admin. I've gone to the product admin and we're going to pre-sell this wool trainers product so if we go onto the storefront you can see we've got some in stock sizes and then we've got these out of stock sizes and they're currently showing a sold out button so to change that to display a pre-order button we can come down here click into the variant and then click this box continue selling when out of stock so that is pretty much the original pre-order feature of Shopify. These um, third-party applications that we're going to talk through in a little bit, they all tick this box. Basically, whenever you want to sell an out-of-stock variant or product in Shopify, this has to be ticked or else the checkout will reject it. So let's tick that and we'll just do it for the extra small and let's pop back into the storefront and one more reload maybe so you can see it's showing add to cart as opposed to um the small where it's just showing sold out this is great because we can actually now accept orders for this size if that's um what the store owner wanted but you can see there's just zero communication so some themes will actually see that you're uh, allowing a zero stock product they will show a pre-order here instead of add to cart but even still um do we go through the cart page there's nothing there and then if we um you know checked out our pre-orders there's no communication whatsoever and there's also no way to kind of you know automate communications to this customer say oh look um it's a week out now thanks for waiting with us or sorry there's been a delay nothing like that but it will it will do the job and there's nothing to stop you you know going into that page in shopify and adding some custom text without it being a pre-order so there's absolutely ways you can manage it especially if you're just starting out and you want to explore pre-orders and that's pretty much where i think this approach is a really good starting point if when you're a small store starting out or maybe you've never taken pre-orders before and you are only thinking you'll get um, a couple of tens of sales so it's manageable and you're happy to go in manually into the admin and make sure everything's been kind of processed and orders have been going out and not going out uh, when they should be so that's how to sell pre-orders on Shopify manually without 
any extra costs, no third party applications. Great, so now let's look at using a specialist pre-order app for taking our pre-orders on Shopify. Now, these apps will kind of vary in feature set and also what they specifically target. So the big divide between pre-orders is usually new products versus back in stock. A lot of them do both. Let's look at the options and let's install one and I'll show you how to take pre-orders that way. So I'm just on apps.shopify.com, which is the Shopify app store. And I'm just gonna type pre-order in here and click through. So you'll see there is loads of different options and a lot of them have their own different take on pre-orders. So um, you'll see some are more about notifying and back in stock alerts, um, whereas others are a bit more kind of um, pre-order as in new products or yeah, they don't offer the back in stock option. We're going to use pre-product today, which is the app that I help run. So let's click through to that. And a couple of the features, you'll see that um, there's for flexible charging. So charging customers up front, but as well as charging them later, using deposit-based pre-orders, that kind of thing. Fulfillment holds. So that's all about stopping Shopify orders from being um, fulfilled prematurely. You you take, um, you know, 10 pre-orders for a t-shirt, you don't want all your systems to start trying to prematurely fulfill those orders when there isn't enough stock. And then there's the communi communication piece, which we'll have a quick look at, which is all about um, communicating on the product page for storefront, as well as um, via an email campaign and customer portals, order status pages, just all these different touch points to make sure that it's a great customer experience, um, as well as alleviate kind of added customer support burden from your end. Cool, let's click install and I'm using a different test store for this one. So just a couple of scopes from Shopify, install. And here we are, I'm just going to go with the free plan. Uh, for you, it wouldn't show partner development, it would show starter. So the free plan has a high commission, but it also means that there's no fixed monthly fee. So you can kind of experiment without any risk of being charged until you actually start taking money through pre-orders. So let's click that and approve. Cool. Um, and I'm gonna jump, jump straight into it. So let's list a product for pre-order which is currently out of stock. Let's um, choose this whitening toothpaste. Cool, so just like the other example, it's out of stock, um, so it's showing sold out. Let's go into our new pre-order app, pre-product, and click new listing, and so sort of whitening toothpaste. And instead of charging up front, let's charge later. So I'm gonna leave that default uh, clicked, but uh, there are other options. I then onto the communication um, section. Let's say, um, Winter 2025 for this one. And we'll just give it a specific date in this instance as well. Maybe just December 1st. Great. Um, we could offer a discount, uh, especially for pre-orders. We're not gonna do that today. Create a listing. Cool. Um, so we can see that's popped up here and we've got a listing for it. You can automate that process we just did via the new listing option, or you could do it in bulk. It's a couple of different options, but this means that we're now um, pre-selling this whitening toothpaste. So let's refresh. And you can see straight away, we've got some communication. It's saying pre-order. We could um, jump into this setup screen and customize that wording. So let's just go in here quickly. And it was charge later, wasn't it? Um, lock yours in today for no deposit no upfront deposit potentially yep so there's loads of other options which i'm not going to go into today but um just to show you how that works and refresh it cool so we've got our wording um we should have some wording on the card page as well. And then also on, on um, well, we'd have it on checkout. And then back into the app, just to show you a couple of options. We offer these, um, other pre-order apps will probably offer a combination or some or most of these as well. You've got your um, specialist pre-order dashboard. 
You've also got a customer screen where you can kind of navigate through all the customers. And then you've got your email flows so you can kind of shape the customer journey with confirmation emails. You can send emails out when you're about to charge their card for the pre-order. You can kind of have failed charge flows if the card expires. There's lots of different setup options you can experiment with. So um, automations, for example, a lot of pre-order apps are getting into this kind of thing. So, um, you know, weekly report, automatically listing pre-orders as the products go out of stock, all that kind of stuff. So that's what it's like using a pre-order app. And let's quickly have a look at what Shopify orders will look like. So we'll see... Here I am, Ollie Woods, and you'll see it's payment pending and on hold, whereas the normal kind of buy now orders have got unfulfilled. So that's what's going to tell the rest of Shopify and the rest of your apps, look, this order, um, leave it alone until the on hold status has been changed and it's um, unfulfilled like the rest of the others. And just a couple of pre-order best practices. It's really important to communicate your intended shipping time. So it might be a week, it might be two months, it might be a year, that's fine. But uh, it's really important to communicate that to customers, both for customer kind of success reasons and um, making sure that they have a good pre-order experience and continue to enjoy buying from your brand. But also some countries have um, legal requirements around pre-orders where they say you, you really do need to um, explain to the customer when you're paying to ship and that this isn't a regular buy now order. Also, um, it's important to do a test pre-order first, see how an order coming in, which doesn't have stock ready for it, affects the rest of your systems. Small to medium stores, this will probably just work very easily. Bigger stores, maybe you you have an ERP or a free PL, which needs to have a custom flow set up. It's all doable and all possible, but um, yep, test pre-orders are a good idea. Last of all, it's a good idea to promote your pre-order like anything else. It's not going to sell itself. However, pre-orders are a great marketing event. You can talk about pre-launch. You can talk about how you've been really excited about this and use it as an actual um, occasion to build up some hype and demand. So we look to using pre-orders and just Shopify without any third-party app using that continue selling when out stop box. Then we look to using a specialist pre-order app and some of the features that you would expect as well as uh, some rules of best farm like communicating with customers and setting it setting an expected um, delivery date. If you do want to have a uh, go uh, taking pre-orders for your store, I'll leave a link to pre-products in the description below. We have both a starter plan, which doesn't have any fixed monthly fee, as well as free trials on all our um, other plans. Cool. I hope that was helpful. Thanks.